Rise and shine, YouTube. It's time to talk about ashwagandha. Take a long, hard look at the label on this puppy here, man. I'm excited to be talking about this product with you today. Not because anybody is paying me to do so, and not because I make it myself, but because this stuff works. Ashwagandha. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about ashwagandha, uh, what it's done for me so far in the week and a half or so-ish that I've been using it, and what it might do for you. I'm also going to be talking about any health risks, safety risks, or addiction profile risks as they pertain to ashwagandha. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Hopefully this will, there'll be a lot of useful information in this video for you. Now, I came across I came across ashwagandha, and I'm going to have a hard time saying that name, through a comment that one of my awesome, super fantastic, cannot be praised highly enough subscribers of this person asked me if I have had any experience with ashwagandha or smell of the horse, and I did not, so I figured I would look into it. Now, this particular format of ashwagandha comes with a black pepper extract, which is said to increase its bioavailability. Um, it doesn't always come like that, and it, all, it doesn't always come in the same potency either. There are extra strength ashwagandha pills you can get. Uh, this one happens to be kind of a normal strength one from what I understand, but it does contain 1200 milligrams of pure ashwagandha root powder per capsule, and the suggested serving size is two of these capsules. Um, included with that dose of ashwagandha is five milligrams of black pepper extract. I haven't read up too much on black pepper extract, but I do understand that it does carry with it its own host of benefits. So let me talk a little bit about what I'm experiencing with ashwagandha. Uh, so like I said, about a week and a half ago, I just got my first um, shipment from Amazon. I'll put started with my first dose the day after, so maybe seven or eight days ago, I took my first dose of two of those pills which wasn't very remarkable. Um, I didn't notice really anything. It was hard to distinguish normal everyday mood slash relaxation slash anxiety level and the effect of this. I couldn't really get the difference there. Sorry, mom. So I'm gonna go ahead and say my first dose with this was not remarkable. However, for some reason, and I know this happens a lot of times with medications, the second dose and going forward, big time impact. So I, I wonder if, at least for me, there wasn't a, 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 a buildup in my system that needed to happen before I started getting the effects of this. My very first dose of ashwagandha, and that was two of these pills, did not really do anything for me, not noticeably at least. However, two days later, so about five days ago on this timeline, um, I took the same dose, but I did it as my only supplement for that morning. So in other words, I, did, I didn't take any um, L-theanine. I took no uh, supplements any at all beyond just this two of these capsules and a, a, a glass of clear water and uh, my, my cup of coffee that I normally have. So just those two substances alone, coffee and ashwagandha, is all that I had that morning. And wow, I felt very calm, very at ease, mm, kind of like you might feel with a, 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 a low dose of kratom. Not really, not certainly not amped up. Some people can be ex excited or stimulated by kratom, but uh, for me, you know, anything around a one gram serving has that kind of calming, easy um, effect. And ashwagandha, my second dose of it taken in the morning with my cup of coffee and a cup of water or a glass of water gave me that effect and it lasted for a while. I didn't eat breakfast that morning because I was curious about how quickly this would move through my system. And it was about probably 11 o'clock. I had taken this dose at about 7.30 in the morning. It was probably 11 o'clock that I noticed that things started to kind of taper down and I wasn't really getting that effect that I'd first noticed within the first hour or so. And it happened pretty quick, by the way. Um, after I had swallowed those two pills, it took about 30 minutes which is fairly fast. I mean, granted, I wasn't on, on an empty stomach, but um, even still, for me, that's pretty quick to have something like a, an herb extract or a root extract have that kind of effect so quickly. Pretty remarkable, I would say. 
Um, this bottle, by the way, just to give you guys some idea as far as cost goes, I think I paid $30, I want to say, for 120 of these capsules, each of which contain 1,200 milligrams of ashwagandha extract. So if I'm doing two of these a day, maybe in the morning or maybe even, uh, you know, dosing again in the evenings, um, then I would say this is going to last me at least two months, you know, uh, maybe a month and a half, a month, uh, month to two months, I would say, would be my... My, um, my my use of this if I were to take it every day. I don't know if I want to do that. It doesn't seem like um, I'm going to want to have the same kind of cooling off feeling, like just drop it down a little bit, be a little more relaxed, be a little more calm. I don't really need that so much. Um, I have L-theanine for that. that. That does help. I also don't feel like at this point in my life, I'm dealing with a, t a, a terrible amount of stress just in my lifestyle and in my day-to-day. -day. I mean, everything seems to be going fairly well. So I don't really need a, a, a downer, so to speak, you know, like Phenibit or something like that. So I, I'm going to say that my use of this is probably going to be episodic and as needed. I don't know that I want to um, be feeling like that all the time, that sort of reduced anxiety all the way down. I think a little bit of anxiety, not a lot, right? A, a, tiny, a smidge of anxiety gives me a little bit of an edge. And so when I get, when I get too doled by um, anti-anxiety type compounds or substances, then I, can, I feel like I kind of lose that edge. So I like to try to maintain that. So I don't know that I'm gonna be taking this every single day, but so far, I, I'm definitely going to say that this has an impact on my anxiety level. <clears throat> now, I wanna go through a couple of other um, purported benefits. Um, it apparently can reduce blood sugar levels, which is important for people with diabetes. Uh, it's also important for people who are trying to do certain diets that can either increase or decrease blood sugar levels. If you're someone who's prone to sharp swings in your blood sugar, it might be worth looking into using ashwagandha for the purposes of, mon of managing or monitoring um, your blood sugar levels. Um, some other reports that I found that were very interesting regarding depression um, there was a remarkable study that I had found showing that ashwagandha helped alleviate this depression in a, in a two month long study where, um, 64 adults took 600 milligrams of high concentration ashwagandha. I'm not sure if that's what this is. They might've been taking like an, even an, a more extracted amount, but, uh, they noticed a 79% reduction in their severe depression. Um, now that, now that, that in that two months period, there was a placebo group that only experienced about a 10% increase in the reduction of their depression. Wait, increase, whatever. 10% noticed that the placebo was helping them or thought that it was. Whereas the group that was taking ashwagandha over that two month period, 79% of them said that um, what they were taking was helping them. And what they were taking was that 600 milligrams of high concentration ashwagandha extract. So depression now is part of this equation. So not only are we talking about a potential relief, relief of anxiety symptoms, but also now we're crossing into depression. Now, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I deal with both or have dealt with both. Um, but as I said earlier, anxiety is kind of a, a strange friend of mine. Um, it helps me to, it helps to keep me sharp, but it, it can also go over the top. And that's when I need things like this. So if, I, if I'm feeling acutely depressed, which does also happen, I can have episodic depressive episodes. And those of you with serious depression know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you can just have a wall of, of, um, of, of sadness or, or, or morbidity come to you. Like you can feel heavy, there's doom, there's unexplained feelings of despair. And ashwagandha has apparently some medical... Um, um, not proof, I'm, I, I hesitate to ever use that word, but um, medical evidence that suggests that ashwagandha could address symptoms of depression. Um, there's also some, some claims about it um, having an impact on fertility, both for men and women. Uh, in the case of men, uh, it's been shown to increase testosterone, um, or at least contribute to testosterone uh, biosynthesis within the body. Very interesting, I think. Um, so this is, you know, the more, this happens sometimes with certain uh, herbals, compounds. Um, I find something that has one major benefit, and then there's like this tree of others that fall below it. And in the case of in the case of ashwagandha, boy, does that uh, does that root system run deep? Um, it goes on to say that uh, you know, increasing muscle mass. I'm just scrolling through some of the the highlights of some studies I've seen 
reducing inflammation, um, lowering cholesterol and uh, blood fats or triglycerides. That's a big deal too. So now we're talking to a whole nother audience of people, right? Maybe the of those trying to manage their weight or curb their weight or curb their cholesterol level, manage that without the use of medications. This could be something for them as well. All kinds of benefits here. Now let's move into the negatives. What are some of the things that you would want to you would want to avoid ashwagandha for? What kind of side effects can you expect? Right. So this is where things get even more interesting because guess what? There are none. Like when I say there are none, I want to make sure that I'm using that word correctly. And I am. There are none. <laughs> I, I really, I, I looked hard trying to find um, even anecdotal evidence about side effects, negative side effects in particular, or even just neutral ones. Um, I couldn't find them. Um, not even headache or uh, upset stomach. And this uh, goes for even uh, larger doses or bigger doses. So... Pretty, pretty interesting. So far on week two of, of taking ashwagandha every other day or every th third day, I want to say, is where I've been with this. I'm really pleasantly surprised to have found this, and I'm going to keep taking it. Um, I also am going to be doing some more research on black pepper extract, because that now has piqued my curiosity. Um, oh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, so this channel does talk a lot about nootropics. Is this a nootropic? Does this help your cognition? Does it help your memory? Does it help your, uh, your your verbal fluency or your attention to detail or your attention span? There are some claims that ashwagandha does also have some, an impact on cognition for, for the better. So, you know, we, we're touching all bases with this ashwagandha stuff. It does appear to have a, a nootropic profile. Pretty cool, right? So uh, I'm going to keep at it. Um, if you've been using ashwagandha or if you're curious about it, share your thoughts below. Tell me about what you experience. I love reading the comments. I read every single one of my comments, all of them, bar none. Okay, so drop a comment. Tell me your story. Tell me your history with this. Tell everybody else what you found about it. And um, that's it. Yeah, hope this video was helpful. And as always, go ahead and click those thumbs up. Um, share it around to your friends and family if you think that uh, they might be able to benefit from something like ashwagandha. I'll be doing some more videos here before the week is out, so stay tuned for those. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.